3764. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Hit it, Elvis. You got it, E. Welcome to another edition of Elvis Back on Tour. Today we're taking you to a venue that we've been to many times over the years since it's in our home state of Virginia. We'll be taking you to the Berglund Center, which was the Roanoke Civic Center. Elvis performed here in 1972, 1974, and 1976. Roanoke is where scenes from Elvis on Tour were filmed, as well as some photos of Elvis leaving his hotel in 1976, which we will also show you what it looks like today. Roanoke Civic Center opened in 1971 and has hosted every big name in entertainment. To this day, it remains an attractive venue and a cornerstone for the Roanoke community. In this photo from Elvis on Tour, Elvis is greeted by Mayor Roy Weber at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. Some of you may not know, Mayor Weber owned the floors that made the floral guitar for Elvis, then Elvis broke it. Mayor Weber died in 1975, but the floors he owned thrived for another 30 years. Favorite when you, uh, I, I remember uh -oh. broke the drink, yeah. <laughs> it broke the whole thing. <laughs> It's now called the Berglund Center, but from 1971 to 2014, it was known as the Roanoke Civic Center. It seats 10,500 for concerts. As with most venues we tour, changes have been made over the years, but a lot of what Elvis saw is still there. In this footage, you can see the setup for the Elvis concert in 1976. Keep your eye on those seats that you see on the floor. You'll see them a little later in the video. We have called uh, 24 private security and uh, 16 Roanoke City policemen, which is uh, really about twice what we normally call for a concert. What kind of uh, restrictions have his people set as far as for people being around or whatever? The policy is that uh, there will be no interviews, uh, no one other than employees of the Civic Center and uh, the Presley staff will be allowed backstage.
Some believe that these photos from 1976 were taken at a hotel that no longer exists, but as you can see, the actual hotel is still standing. The manager of the hotel was kind enough to show us photos that now hang in the lobby, documenting that day in August of 1976, where for just a moment in time, Elvis passed through. So here we are at the Baymont Inn, which in 1976, in August, when Elvis stayed here, it was the Sheraton Inn. A lot's changed. Time has been really hard on this hotel. But we just wanted to give you just a, a quick look. Obviously, so many things have changed with this building uh, in over the last 45 years since Elvis stayed here. I just want to give you a just a quick look at his route to get out of the building when they stayed here and these are gonna line right up with the pictures that he had made with Linda just outside this door. So the car would have been sitting somewhere here probably uh, based on where those pictures were made. And the pictures that everybody has seen time and time again were taken right there coming out of that door And we know for a fact that Elvis had the entire second floor in this group. But it all happened right here. In this photo, Elvis is getting on a plane to head to Fayetteville, North Carolina. This is the same airport where Elvis was filmed four years earlier. This photo shows the last time Elvis was ever in Virginia. Elvis was scheduled to perform in Roanoke on August 24, 1977, but unfortunately never made it. On August 25th, fans gathered at the Civic Center to listen to Elvis's music over the sound system and pay their respects to Elvis. His passing, we have lost a great singer, musician, and entertainer. And many of us feel we have also lost a portion of our youth. probably wondering what we're doing sitting out in the parking lot of Roanoke and Civic Center. Well, what we wanted to do is show off our two newest acquisitions that we just picked up. Uh, these were seats that were, would have been on the floor uh, for Elvis's concerts back in uh, 74, 76. Uh, I don't know about 72, but probably definitely 74 and 76. And uh, we just took our tour here and the folks were kind enough to give us two of these seats uh, that we always keep for historical purposes because uh, you're getting ready to throw them all out and we got our two so we got a part of history thank you for watching be sure to subscribe and follow us on instagram and facebook using the links in the description below